Hello everybody. This is Ustride. It's been a while, but I'm here now in the city and I know I haven't been keeping tabs on the new wheels that's been released, but I have to say, these are some amazing wheels, guys. Wow. 60 miles an hour on the last Ronin video. Holy smoke, right? And it didn't even look like it was drying, to be honest. But <clears throat> um, what I want to say is there are 1.5 million bikes stolen every year in the United States. And I know some of you just can't wait for electric unicycles to become as popular as bikes or mopeds or whatever. Other electric vehicles, right? Um, personally, I've never wanted that. And a lot of people like myself also, you know, didn't, didn't find any interest in having electric unicycles be as popular as these other forms of uh, e-transportation. And one reason I don't want that is because with popularity comes problems, right? So I'll, I'll give you an example. Look at this right now. So right now I have my um, electric unicycle, right? Parked right here. Okay. Beautiful machine. Okay, it's right here. This is the EX30. And I have the kryptonite lock, okay, with this wire cable through the rim. And obviously someone could come along and mess with it, you know, smash the screen, break the handlebar, rip this apart, but you would have to be like really crazy in the mind to just do something like that. Now, uh, one of the, another reasons I feel confident leaving it here is because there's a camera right here. All right, obviously I have no access to that camera, but there's a camera here. So I live about maybe three miles from here, maybe four, and there's a parking lot. Well, there's a bunch of parking lots around here, but I prefer not to do that, right? I like the convenience of the bikes, of the scooter when I had one, and I absolutely love the convenience of the EUC, okay? The only problem is the institution that I'm at right now, I can't take it inside. So what am I gonna do? Store it outside, which is what I did. And this is my second time doing it, and I started putting it outside of my um, uh, the gym that I go to also. But here's the thing. I was concerned about it at first, but then I said, you know what? At some point, it's gonna happen. At first, my, uh, my gym uh, didn't really care, but the more I kept doing it, the more management um, kept getting eyes on it and kept saying, hey, this is not allowed here. And I, I didn't fight them. I just asked them why. And they're like, well, we, we're not responsible. We don't want to be responsible for it. And so I told them, listen, I take full responsibility if this thing gets stolen. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I wrote them a piece of paper. I said, listen, you're not responsible for this. And they let me go. They, they allowed me to park uh, the electric unicycle inside for a while. But then another manager came and he's like, listen, this is not allowed. He even put a little sticker on it, not sticker, but paper printed out on it saying, this is not allowed in here. And I'm like, damn, this is happening. Wow. So I, br I bought this lock, the kryptonite from Walmart. And now it's over there, right? So the point I'm trying to make is <clears throat> we're not as popular as bikes. Electric unicycles are not as popular as bikes and it should stay that way, you know? Let's continue to be niche. No one really knows what they are still. Uh, as a matter of fact, people kind of are starting to get to know what it is, but in terms of its popularity, I think right now um, there are some videos I saw of a guy calling a police on uh, someone who stole his, uh, I think it was an Emotion or something. No, no, it was a KS. It was a King Song uh, S22. I don't remember the name. It's been a while. But um, <clears throat> the guy didn't even write it. They even asked him, you know, kind of like, I guess he tracked it down and he's like, hey, so, you know, he acted like he wanted to purchase it from him. And he's like, hey, um, do you know how to write this? 
and the guy goes, yeah, I, I, I can't, I, I can I, I write it sometimes. <laughs> so the thing is, if 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 this ends up being stolen, chances are it's not going to be stolen by people who have electric unicycles, people like us. It's, it doesn't seem like other fellow electric unicycles are going to steal electric unicycles. It seems like we have this um, camaraderie among us and understanding that, you know, it costs a lot of money. It took a lot of time and effort to learn how to ride this thing. We kind of know the history behind it. And, you know, it's just, I don't want to say brotherhood, but it's, it kind of feels like that. Even though we've never known each other, um, it does feel in some way to be some type of unspoken connection that electric unicycle owners have so i could be wrong maybe someone uh you know who, maybe there was an electric unicycle stolen by an electric unicyclist but i don't see that happening maybe it is i don't know i i, I haven't seen that happening so my point i'm trying to make is if this thing does get stolen it's not necessarily going to be for people trying to ride it at the next race you know it's probably going to be from people who kind of know what it is and they know the value of it you know what i mean and so they'll go to try to purchase it i'm sorry they'll try to steal it and then try to sell it for the money they don't really care about what it does or the you know the intrinsic value of what this thing really is you know so that's the only thing whereas a, a bicycle why do people steal bicycles to sell them to or to ride them i don't know but <clears throat> that's just what i feel people who steal these things don't really care about riding it um they just want to resell it so um but yeah how do i feel right now i feel safe i mean i've been inside the building for about since this morning um around 10 o'clock and it's what time is it it is 1 128 now and i came outside and it's still here chilling now <clears throat> one thing i will say though if you can look i'll just turn this around if you look this is a public area right and there's a lot of people here so it's obvious that you should not you should not park your electric unicycle in a place that's not as populated as this you want to put it in a place where there's a lot of people a lot of eyes you know definitely public definitely not in an alley or definitely not in you know at night or just make sure there are people around um, that's just my experience and as far as my gym I I don't park it on the bike rack I park it right on the handrail that's facing right inside of the um, of the gym, so that it's obvious if someone's trying to take it. Um, you know, you got to make them work for it, right? And obviously, don't use those cheap uh, bike locks. Use a very, you know, sturdy kryptonite-like metal uh, bike lock. That way, if they do try to take it, it's obvious that's what they're trying to do, and at least someone will see it. Now, obviously, there are bike um uh safety uh what is it called uh alarms and stuff like that you could probably get cameras you know um whatever will make it harder for someone to take your machine but i don't think we should be nervous about leaving our machines out it should be a common thing and it as a matter of fact i would prefer that happens i would prefer that we become more keen and more apt to leaving our units outside on a bike rack or a pole or something um, and make that the norm you know yeah there might be some that will be stolen but again don't make it easy for them you know what I mean and then once we get to that point I think um, I think that's one barrier that I wouldn't mind overcoming rather than uh, electric unicycles becoming more popular anyway this was a great discussion. Um, will I be making future videos? That's the plan. But uh, the weather is getting really nice right now. I have been riding. I made some minor modifications to my EUC. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. See you guys on the next one. Happy riding.